In this lecture, I'm going to create our first ASP.NET Core application in Visual Studio 2015. In a subsequent lecture, I'll create the application using the command line, and it will compile a C-sharp file and a project.json file. So I'm going to go down here. I already have Visual Studio 2015 open, but you can go to the search window and find your application right there. I have the professional version, but like I stated before, you can download the community. It runs roughly the same, so let's click Visual Studio. I'm going to click File, New, Project. When I do that, I'm going to go to an ASP.NET web application. I can name it whatever I want, so let's just put Test, and then let's browse a different area. Let's just put it on my desktop, select the folder, and it's going to be the test application. Press OK. Let it create the project. Now look at all of these different projects we have for a web application. For ASP.NET 4.6 templates, you can create an empty, full .NET framework application, a web forms, MVC, web API, single page application. You have all of these items you can utilize to create full ASP.NET 4.6 applications. But in this case, we want to go down here to ASP.NET 5 templates. We can create an empty application which is just the bare minimum. We can create a web API application, and this is a project template for creating RESTful HTTP services. If you want to emit XML or JSON, this is the type of project you will utilize. But in this case, I want to create a scaffolded ASP.NET Core application, meaning Microsoft has already built in the client-side libraries associated with Bower and Gulp, and they've also installed NVC in a lot of the different assemblies in our ASP.NET Core application. You can see over here you can change the authentication type. By default it has individual user accounts so you can click change authentication. If you want a work or school account with Office 365, Windows authentication. In this case I'm going to pick no authentication, press OK. I'm going to make sure that I uncheck host in the cloud. You can always host this in the cloud with Microsoft Azure but in this case I just want to create the app. So let's press OK. It's installing and adding the application insights to the project so we can see the performance associated with the compilation. This is what's nice about installing a scaffolded ASP.NET Core application. It already has all the dependency libraries associated with the installation. You don't have to build NVC or add your dependency libraries. So this is our first ASP.NET Core application. In subsequent lectures, we are going to analyze this and see how everything flows. And we're going to compare this to a full .NET framework application. But I just want to show you that this is how you create your first ASP.NET Core application. And to run it, we can go up here to IIS Express, click Run. We'll see our first app run in a browser. So we're putting it in debug mode. And now it opens on localhost. 6 2024 and this is a scaffolded ASP.NET Core application. It already has the built-in navigation and it has bootstrap associated with the app itself. So it's responsive, works on different mobile devices. So this is how we build our first ASP.NET Core application in Visual Studio 2015. My name is John Cherry. Thank you very much.